Alright, it's cooled down enough where I can play around with it. It looks like it's about halfway full, that much. That's workable, that's fine, I can deal with that. So, I mean, it, as I said, it's still a little bit warm, but I can start trimming it. Because this needs to be flush. Well, whatever. See, right here, trimming it. Okay, that looks good, but, uh, okay, well, it's still meeting with just a little bit of resistance. It's not as smooth as the, uh, original one. See, that one's actually fairly smooth. But I think this will be okay. Maybe. I can still play with it a little bit. If you find that you have the same problem there, you can, uh, shave it just a little bit like I'm doing right now. I'm just, shape, just, just barely shaving it. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. It can almost go on the piston under its own weight. Okay. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's good. That's what I want. Especially since this one will definitely... See? Good. All right, now that's taken care of, we need to put some holes in here. There we go. I put eight holes in there. That should hopefully be enough. Come on, focus. There we go. See, eight holes right there. Um, I, I'd, I'd be a little bit worried about putting too, him, too many holes in there, just because then it won't then it won't uh, then when you fire it the the this part might break off if you put too many holes and then you aren't shooting a paintball you're shooting something that could actually seriously hurt someone not saying that paintball from this gun will hurt won't hurt someone it will leave quite a bruise all right next step oh that's been in the frame the entire time that's funny anyways pipe and that. Okay, that fits beautifully. Okay, now we need to cut a section of a section of this stuff. <laughs> One inch PVC pipe. Let's see, how long do I need it? You know what? That's actually a very good question. So it's gonna sit. Then we need to go in here. Okay, this is how long of a piece of PVC pipe we're gonna need. This is, this is how I'm going to determine how long of a piece of, uh, of one inch pipe I need. Now, when it's sitting like this, with the plug all the way in the back, like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place the plug almost, um, almost flush with the very back of the uh, PVC pipe. You can push it in a little bit on my original gun. It's actually sitting like a, a little bit right there. There's no particular reason for that. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here just to make it a little bit smaller and I want the I want the paintball to be dropping to be dropping in right in front of this piston so I'm gonna mark on there yeah that's where I want the paintball to be to go um, now I gotta decide do I want a removable barrel or do I want Let's see, what do I want right um Okay, I, I think if I want a removable barrel That won't work. Okay, I'm just thinking, sorry. Alright, now once that's once that's marked once that's marked, we need to figure out exactly how far this thing goes forward. We can determine that by roughly like about doing that. Yeah. We can figure out exactly how far we want to go forward, okay? But I'm gonna I'm gonna say about like half an inch in front of the plug, so it's you know it's it's maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch, something like that. Yeah, something like that. There we go. Okay. Now, if I were, now the paintball should drop right in there. 
Now I want the uh, hole to be roughly the size of a paintball. So that means I want the I want the I want the uh, <laughs> the piston to move the same distance to move as far as as far as it needs to. So let's just see here. That is 1.1 1. 1, 1. Yeah, 1. Uh, 1.183 inches. And I think a paintball is 0. 0.6. Yeah, that looks right. I could completely, I could be completely wrong, but if I want to move that far, you know, having the piston move just a little bit beyond the paintball, it's fine. It, it, it's up to you though. Okay, so that's how far. So that's how big it needs to be. It ne it needs to be. You know, I suppose you could cut it off here, and when you fire, the piston could come out a little bit. I, I don't suppose that would be a problem at all. I suppose it would look, the end, the end result might look like this. Every time you fire, every time you fire, this thing will go, this, this thing will go, you know, come out like that far, if, if you do that. It, it's up to you if you can, if you have a removable hopper connector that you want to, you want to put on it perfectly fine but I think what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut it off you know I want I want the barrel to be built into this okay so yeah let's say right here I'm gonna that seems a little bit far, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna cut it off with one, about one inch. Okay, I'm gonna cut this thing off one inch in f in front, uh, about an inch, inch and a half in front of the piston's maximum stroke. So it has that much room for me to attach another barrel to it. So I'm gonna have a removable barrel. Okay, can you cut this thing up? Okay. All right. Now I made a mistake. Okay. I made a mistake. I skipped something. Now the. I'll show you what I made mistake on. The three quarters of an inch pipe. We're actually going to need to sand about that much off of it because it needs to fit in f inside of the one inch, and it doesn't. So we're going to need to sand some of that off. Now we should have done that first before we made the piston, because now I'm going to need to sand this thing off too, like I need to sand this off. Had I sand. Had I had I sand this thing down first, I could have chopped off what I needed for the piston and for this without needing to worry about sanding it off later. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this video, right. memory card filled up on me. Um, I think I left off uh, telling you that we need to take some of the three quarter three quarter inch pipe and lay it down, sand it down. Um, we need some to fit into here as a stopper, about uh, that much of it, about an inch, however much you decide to do that. If you decide to make your entire barrel this, then you can use, if, if you want the barrel to be one piece with the, with the piston thing, you can use the entire thing like this, just connect it like that and then cut it off like here or something, and then that will be your barrel. I mean, this will, 
assuming if, if this was the schedule 80 type it would make a perfect barrel since it's a schedule 40 it will make a lesser barrel it'll still work as a barrel but it won't be as accurate or as powerful but I make do with what I have so what I need to do is you know actually I lied no you don't need to put it in that far you need to actually put it in here because this is going to act as the stopper for the piston the piston is going to come up hit it and then stop right there it's going to stop right there and the spring is going to be compressed all the way in here okay so what that means is you need to push this thing back as far as you want it to stop because it's going to be stopped right there. So let's see. These are the markings I made here. Let's see. I'm going to use the camera because I can't really see that much that well here. Okay, I want to stop here. <laughs> Damn it! I keep fucking dropping. I keep dropping things. It's a very annoying habit of mine. Okay, so now let's see here. I want to stop right here. So that means I need the. Okay, I need this pipe to come up to about here. The, re the way I decided that is this pipe is is um, going to be right where this line is right here. See how that almost, or actually it should be like right there. Yeah, it should be like right there. Okay, so I'm going to have to mark that. Okay then. Now obviously this might change a little bit depending on how far I can shove this pipe up this other pipe. So we shall see. Yeah, that looks good. That that should be about it. So I'm gonna stick I'm gonna cut off about a foot of this or so and stick it on the lathe. Fun fun. And of course by lathe I mean power drill. <laughs> 